It is February the 26th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site. Uh, busy day out on the site. Uh, it looked like uh, crews were, were still trying to work on uh, some oil. Uh, we saw some in the water. Um, we got some pictures of that coming up, but uh, it looked like the cutting stopped today. Uh, we had the offshore chain uh, that looks like an uh, inshore train was just kind of straight down. And what we think is probably going on here is they've, they've got a broken chain or they're having uh, more difficulty with some of the block work. Uh, but we didn't see any cutting taking place uh, in the afternoon. I think they were working on it this morning. Uh, the chain broke, or again, they had some sort of problem with, with the block system, and it stopped. Dive operations were ongoing. Um, we could hear the divers were going in the water, so we're not sure whether they're part of the repair operation or they're continuing with their uh, drilling uh, under those midsections that are to be lifted as, as they're cut, but... Uh, Something's going on with the uh, with the chain operation, and it seems to have stopped. We did get a couple pictures of the blocks down. You'll see some coming up of just random shots we took during the cleanup effort uh, with uh, booms deployed. Those guys out working, those environmental crews working the site really hard, um, trying to get up uh, as much of this. I know there's going to be some of this release that makes it out but they are uh, out there in force uh, trying to deal with uh, as much of this as they can. And we did see some, see a good bit of sheening out on the sound, and there was a noticeable smell of uh, the contaminants on the water. You could really tell, and as a matter of fact, we were down at the uh, St. Simon's Pier today, and uh, of course the winds were light, and that smell was just kind of kind of in the air around that uh, pier area. Uh, this morning on St. Simon's. Now, at times of the day today, we could see uh, some uh, foam or bubbles or something developing on the water surface. Uh, from what we understand, that this was sea foam. Uh, one thing we can figure is the monitor boats might be agitating the water enough to uh, cause this kind of uh, foam to develop. We're thinking that might be a possibility, but uh, there was no other foam on the sound uh, today except in this area uh, and I just noticed it was kind of uh, uh, coming from that uh, from the the ship area where the uh, uh, the monitor boats were working but did get some video of that and uh, just thought it was kind of interesting that it was uh, all kind of clumping off of uh, that activity around the environmental barrier at the Golden Ray.
Uh, this is the kind of thing we saw uh, during the day out on the sound as far as uh, uh, contaminants on the water. Uh, some of it we saw was uh, really light, really streaky on the water. And then we didn't see a couple places where it was uh, some of the heavier oil, some of the darker stuff. Uh, but it's it's scattered across a good portion with without really seeing a whole lot of it uh, gathered up or collected in, in one particular area. And we did see this activity going on with the uh, high, high rope guys um, working. And again, uh, at the end of the day, they had the inshore block uh, pulled back over to the VB. So hopefully they'll be back cutting soon and we can continue to work on this section seven uh, to get it up and out of here. Hey, that's about it for today. We ask you, if you haven't done it, to hit the subscribe button. Uh, send us some comments. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.